hi welcome you all again uh, for the part two of the tutorial for this is the fifth video and I will post the links uh, uh, on the top uh, so you can um, find the previous videos easily here we're gonna uh, look at how to MIDI map and how to control a software instrument using HPD 20 this advanced instrument with touch responsive pads will enable us to record more realistic music with uh, different articulations and it will be as close as possible to live recording rather than a um, software instrument when we do it that way. So here we are going to uh, create software instrument tracks and we saw the difference between the MIDI track and the software instrument track in the previous uh, video. So the software instrument track will be controlled by the HPG20 but the sounds generated are from the software itself not the HPG20 uh, sounds. So uh, let's uh, jump in and uh, let's start creating a track now. So let's go ahead and create, a in create an instrument uh, track here, yeah, not a MIDI track as you can see. So I have loaded Superior Drama 3 in here and uh, let's add the track it might take some time uh, so you can use any software instrument that you uh, uh, want to use as long as you know the little bit of settings uh, in the instrument so here it is you can see the superior drummer 3 loading okay um, so when i press on the instruments you can hear the uh, instrument sounds So to start recording using HPD20 uh, pad, we need to MIDI map the HPD20 to the instrument. So first of all, select a kit, a user kit, that is beyond 100, number 100, that's where the user kits are, and use that to map each and every instrument into the pads of your choice. So different instruments, software instruments, have different ways of MIDI mapping. We will have a look at a few of those to learn, understand. So here, that's where the MIDI mapping uh, is. And you select an uh, instrument. Here is the bass drum. The articulation is open. And I press Learn uh, MIDI. And then just uh, press on the pad that I want that to be assigned. There you go. It's already automatically assigned. So that's as easy as that. And here is the snare, central articulation learn press on a pad and it is assigned to that now so like that each and every instrument and each and every articulation can be midi mapped to whatever the pad we got 13 pads you can have 13 sounds if that's it so once you midi map that you can play that So, so like that, all these instruments uh, can be MIDI, MIDI map very easily. Once you do that, you are ready for recording. Uh, so let's go and enable the recording on this track. Now, here, when you play back, you will see the software instrument will start playing the sounds and you don't need the HPD20 connections anymore. Now you have created a MIDI track uh, which will generate the sound of your choice from your uh, software instrument and also it will en enable you to uh, edit your recording extensively uh, using uh, MIDI edit in your DAW. To understand MIDI mapping a little bit more, let's have a look at a uh, uh, few other instruments, uh, uh, the different ways of MIDI mapping an instrument. So here I'm uh, loading Contact, my preferred software instrument library. So and then we can use uh, one of the instruments in there uh, to demonstrate uh, how to um, do MIDI mapping uh, in a different way. So we go to India uh, from uh, Native Instruments and load Tabla in there. So. So those are the sounds from the instrument and different instruments have different ways of MIDI mapping. Here you press edit 
and then uh, you go and press on that question mark uh, symbol and you can see the C notes uh, assigned for each and every sound here. So we simply have to uh, note the assigned C number for a specific sound and just go back to HPD20 and assign that uh, C number to the pad that you prefer to play that sound with. Uh, so here we go in the uh, HPD20 you go to menu and you go to kit and then to MIDI and you can see here uh, that uh, each and every pad is assigned a MIDI number so it is displayed here main one that is M1 pad is assigned C6 number and we can change that using the controller knob uh, to whatever the C number that you want to assign to that pad. So once you finish uh, assigning the MIDI numbers manually like that you can just uh, play the instrument using the pads. So that's how you MIDI map that particular instrument and we can have a, a look at another one to uh, just uh, demonstrate it again. Now here I have loaded a uh, Cuba instrument uh, from native instruments and uh, here, uh, you can see underneath the uh, instruments the MIDI numbers are mentioned uh, in that small keyboard. Uh, so you just find the MIDI number that you want for specific sounds and select the sounds that you want to play with and just uh, MIDI map it in HPD20 like we seen in the previous uh, small video and then just uh, play it as you wish. So that's how you uh, MIDI map the HPD20 to a software instrument and record your uh, music. So that's it. I think I have covered almost everything uh, of uh, HPD20 and it's a great instrument to have and I hope that I uh, uh, help you to understand this instrument and its functionality uh, and I thank you again uh, for participating and watching my, uh, these videos and if you uh, have any questions I'll be happy to answer those things and if you have any suggestions for more tutorials I'll be happy to uh, oblige that as well so thanks a lot and please do not uh, forget to subscribe and like thank you